This is the last one. You sent this over. Scientists can now grow wood in a lab without cutting a single tree. Uh, this is one of those ones where you read through it and you're like, that sounds very, very cool and promising, and I'm super glad that they can do it. But then you also there's also this undertone of, yeah, it's pretty hard and probably not ready for scale. And but anyway, there when you're making things out of wood, they said something funny in the in the beginning of this where you would have a save the forests meeting in a room that would be furnished. And most likely, you're going to be sitting on the wood that you're trying to save. <laughs> well, <laughs> they got to start somewhere, you know? <laughs> well, no, and, and, and that's the thing, is you can improve these technologies. It actually kind of sounds like it's like an organic hybrid 3D printing type of thing. Oh, okay. Where you can, uh, using some sort of hormones, you can excite certain behaviors in organic material to make it behave like wood essentially mm. and the main thing here is you have less waste i mean you might have more waste in the in terms of the upfront and the energy costs and things i don't know but you have less waste in the long run because a lot when you're making things out of wood there's a lot that gets discarded mm. versus if you were able to grow it you would grow just exactly the pieces you might need right uh, so anyway, that's the idea. The researchers at M MIT performed an experiment that gave stem cell-like properties to normal plant cells, extracted cells from leaves of a flowering plant called common zinnia, and then stored the same in a liquid medium for a couple of days. In the next step, the researchers treated the plant cells with a gel-based medium enriched with nutrients and hormones. After some time, the cells gave rise to new plant cells. The researchers also noticed that by changing the hormonal concentration in the gel medium, they could control the physical and mechanical properties of the newly grown cells during the experiments. Plant material that contained high hormone concentration turned stiff. Man, that sounds really complicated and expensive. Yes. But hopefully they can uh, turn it around. I'm sure they'll, they'll find a way one day we'll all be sitting on lab-grown wooden chairs. Imagine growing your house. That's right. That'll be kind of cool. Grown lumber... I like wood. Wood is good. Yeah. Uh, let's uh, let's figure it out.